Okay, here we have a video on how to remove the hubcap from uh, Heritage Softail. We'll be showing you guys how to do that. Okay, some of the tools you might need. Uh, if you're planning on doing this yourself, I would strongly recommend getting one of these kits. I picked this up at Harbor Freight. It's called a snap ring plier and it's only $4.99 at the time I made this video. Uh, you only need this and a flathead screwdriver okay if uh, you don't want to go out and buy one of these it is possible to do it without uh, I have done it it's gonna take uh, two people though and you're gonna need like maybe three screwdrivers and um, later on depending on how tight that hubcap is on you may need a block of wood and a hammer to gently uh, get that thing to release the first time I attempted to do this, I did it with uh, three screwdrivers. Two of them we used to separate this uh, C-clamp, and then the third screwdriver was to kind of wedge it up over this ring. So if you are going to do this just with screwdrivers, you want to get these together, and you can just, uh, you know, you need to go slow. You can separate this enough to where you can uh, get another third screwdriver up underneath this little uh, clamp and get it to go over the this ring here. If you are going to do this by yourself or with another person just know it's going to take a little bit of patience okay. Uh, what you want to do is get these snap ring pliers put them in these little holes here okay and separate those rings. You want to take your time go slow chances are you might you know mess up on the first try but you'll see I'm getting, oops, let me try that again. You're going to try and get your screwdriver in underneath this clamp once you get it spread out enough. You see how I got it right there? You want to just take your time really slow. You know how they say, slow is fast and fast is slow. You want to just take it a little bit of time and get this thing to just slowly go over that ring until you get the whole thing off. There you go. The first time I attempted this I could not get the hub cap to budge at all. It was on there pretty good and that's kind of a good thing because if it was loose it'd probably be making a bunch of noise and it'd be squealing or whatever but as you can see even right now I'm trying to pull up on this thing and it's not going to budge. So the solution to this, if you want to get it off, we're going to flip this upside down and we're going to try and push it off without trying to damage it. And we get, that's where the block of wood comes in. Just a few taps as you go around. A little bit at a time. And then I'll show you the other side. All right, once you get it up to the level of this uh, part right here, what you're going to have to do is just get in here with your hands and wobble this thing off, okay? There you go. This thing's free. Once you do get it free, there is a little rubber ring on here that you should kind of look out for. There you go. And for this video, I'm using an extra rusted wheel. Okay, but just so you get an idea of what it looks like, just in case you're thinking about taking your hubcaps off. Um, like I said, this one's pretty rusty, but if you come in here and polish this up, it should look, you know, fairly shiny. Okay, and then um, once you clean it up, it looks kind of nice. You can see where all of your uh, spokes are wired in over here along the outside. So just in case you're wondering what the final job would look like or how to get the, the hubcap off, there you go, guys. There's a quick video.